Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudubuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W36D of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. And this video is another video about clocks. Uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about a pseudo clock. Um, that a pseudo clock is a clock that doesn't have a regular period, uh, or at least the period is approximately regular. Uh, and so um, I've actually featured this clock, uh, or uh, at least a variant of it, in another video uh, when I was talking about uh, my sheep farm design. I talked about this clock as an alternative uh, to using repeaters to make the uh, the overall farm design less expensive. So so this uh, this clock is actually pretty cheap. Um, uh, it is going to require a comparator though. Um, I'll need one comparator, one repeater, and one dot of redstone dust. A couple of droppers and a hopper. Uh, not too bad. So I'm going to start with uh, uh, making a couple of holes in the ground, so just like this. And I want to put a, um, a dropper facing up in this spot uh, right here. And I want to put a hopper going into that dropper uh, right here. So this hopper is uh, pointing into this dropper. Uh, and I want to put uh, one item into this dropper to start. Let's go ahead and just toss it in the hopper. There it is. Uh, and over here, I want to uh, put a comparator. Now, this comparator is actually pulling a signal uh, from the fact that this hopper has one item in it, uh, because a comparator can actually pull a signal through a full of pull a signal from a container through a solid block, so one one block away. This is fine, uh, and uh, it's powering uh, powering this block here uh, to a power level of one. Uh, this uh, this redstone uh, uh, this redstone dot here you can see has a power level of one, uh, and uh, I'm going to ultimately take this redstone uh, uh, take this redstone signal and feed it back over here. Uh, but I want to put another dropper on top of this guy first. Uh, so right on top of this, facing over the hopper. There we go. And uh, I'm going to put an item, one item into this dropper as well. And I'm going to take this signal and I'm going to feed it back into this dropper here on top. So uh, let me put a repeater here. Uh, and now when I place a block on top of this comparator here, that will complete the circuit. The comparator powers this block, which powers the redstone dust. This redstone dust will power the block on top of the comparator, which will power the repeater. And that will, uh, that will power uh, this dropper here, uh, which will activate both this dropper and the dropper underneath. Uh, now each of the droppers has exactly one item inside. Uh, this dropper on top here will spit out its item uh, um, into the hopper, and the dropper underneath will spit out its item up into this dropper here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this off to make sure that we don't have any items flying out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this, and um, once the item comes from this hopper into the dropper underneath, uh, that will again power this comparator, and so we'll, uh, we'll actually set up a little bit of a loop. So I'm going to go ahead and start the clock here. There we go. Uh, the droppers are spitting out their items just uh, in a short little circuit, uh, and this clock has a period of approximately four redstone ticks. Um, uh, so it's not uh, it's pretty fast. Um, it's not it's uh, slightly irregular, but uh, you can pretty much um, count it as four redstone ticks. Uh, I want this to be a little bit longer though, and uh, because if I want to have a four redstone tick clock, uh, that's much easier to make. Um, so I'm going to increase the duration of this uh, clock by increasing the amount of time it takes for the item to get spit out by this dropper. Uh, and get back into the hopper. So let me uh, stop the clock here again. Uh, all right, so uh, instead of having this dropper uh, uh, throw its item directly into the hopper, I'm going to reorient that so it's uh, going over this way. And now I'm going to have it um, going around a little bit. I can get this set up correctly here. And one more. There we go. Uh, now if I 
put a water flow in here, when this dropper spits out its item, it's going to enter the water, and it's going to take some time to go all the way around the water stream into the hopper over here. Um, I'm going to cover up this water stream just so we don't have any items flying out. All right, so uh, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, reactivate this clock, clock by putting the block back on top. Okay, and uh, I, <laughs> I didn't put the item in there. Let me send that item into the water stream. There we go. And the 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 top dropper here has one item, the bottom underneath is waiting for the item to go around, and now this clock has a period of about a few seconds. Um, it's an irregular few seconds, sometimes it will take slightly longer, some, sometimes it will take slightly shorter for the item to go around. Um, it's relatively regular though, uh, and uh, it's really, really cheap. This is a very inexpensive way to build a clock uh, of a few seconds. Uh, and you can actually make this longer. All you have to do is is uh, change the amount of time that it takes for the item to go around uh, uh, to go around the circuit. Um, you could increase the length of this water stream uh, using some ice or or, um, uh, or making the water stream uh, go up more than one block. Uh, so you can make this uh, make this a longer period. It does become more irregular the longer it gets. Um, you can also fine tune it by making it a little bit shorter. I could uh, uh, line some of the uh, some of the bottom here with ice. Uh, if I get an ice block here, so if I put ice down, the item will uh, go faster across there. That will actually um, uh, make the period of this clock slightly shorter. Uh, so you can fine-tune this, you can uh, um, make it significantly longer, you can make it shorter if you want, um, but it is a relatively cheap clock, uh, it doesn't cost a lot of materials to build. Um, uh, so places where you need um, uh, timings of a few seconds, this is, uh, uh, this is a potential solution. So uh, that's it then for this video, uh, just a quick little clock. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and thank you for watching.